how Oprah Winfrey from rags to riches. Hello everyone, today we will talk about Oprah Winfrey. She has lived a true rags to riches story, now 65 and worth an estimated $3 billion. In fact, as a child, she had to wear potato sacks because her family couldn't afford new clothes. But her perseverance and talent have propelled her to the status of media mogul and daytime TV queen. Oprah Winfrey, the richest African-American woman today, rose from poverty to become one of the strongest, most independent African-American women of her generation. Oprah is not only a philanthropist, but also an entrepreneur, actress, publisher, and producer. She has drawn attention to this and other relevant issues as a victim of childhood sexual abuse. Oprah has received numerous honors for her work, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Barack Obama. Oprah was the first African-American woman billionaire, and she gives back to the world. Early Life Oprah spent her early childhood years living with her maternal grandmother. Haughty Mae Lee was so impoverished that she frequently made Oprah wear dresses made of potato sacks. Oprah was also a victim of sexual assault as a teenager. However, Oprah's fortunes began to improve in her adolescence while she was living in Nashville, Tennessee with her father, Vernon Winfrey. Vernon prioritized his daughter's education and she graduated with honors. Oprah joined the speech team in high school and worked for a local black radio station. She went on to receive a full scholarship to Tennessee State University, where she majored in communications. Her career in the media took off from there. Oprah quickly became Nashville's first black female news anchor, and she went on to co-anchor the 6 p.m. news in Baltimore. She eventually moved to Chicago to host AM Chicago, a low-rated half-hour morning talk show. Within a few months, she had transformed that show into Chicago's most popular talk show. The show was quickly renamed The Oprah Winfrey Show and became nationally syndicated, making Oprah a millionaire. Oprah the Billionaire Oprah was able to negotiate ownership of her show as it went national, putting her on the path to becoming a billionaire. Oprah was able to share in the wealth created by The Oprah Winfrey Show by taking ownership of her show and then establishing her own production company. Her production company created spin-off shows for her show's popular guests, including Dr. Ross, Dr. Phil, and Rachel Ray. Her company expanded into the production of movies, magazines, and radio shows. Oprah's net worth grew to $340 million in less than a decade, surpassing Bill Cosby as the wealthiest African-American. Oprah was the highest-paid TV entertainer in the United States in 2006, earning an estimated $260 million. Oprah Winfrey established the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa in 2007. She got the idea for this school while drinking tea with Nelson Mandela at his home in Kunu, South Africa. Nelson and Oprah concluded that poverty could be overcome through education. The school took seven years and $40 million to build, and it includes a 52-acre campus, a high-tech computer lab, large dorms, and a library with over 10,000 books. The admissions process included an interview with Oprah, and if accepted, the girls would attend the academy tuition-free. Oprah juggles her work in America and around the world while still being present at the school and attending the academy's special events. This demonstrates how dedicated and hardworking Oprah is as a philanthropist. Oprah's earnings have declined in recent years, and she only earned $75 million last year now that her show is no longer on the air. Her health, however, has never been determined solely by her salary, but rather by the value of her company. Her vast media empire is now worth around $3 billion. According to Forbes, Oprah ranks 210th among the wealthiest people in the United States with a net worth of around $3 billion. While her fortune pales in comparison to the top two on the list, Bill Gates $81 billion and Warren Buffett $67 billion, Oprah is still extremely wealthy. 
She is a few spots ahead of Dallas Mavericks owner and Shark Tank star Mark Cuban, for example. She is also the 26th richest woman in America, with a net worth of $1 billion higher than Who Let Packard CEO Meg Whitman. Oprah is North America's only black billionaire and the world's seventh richest black person. She is wealthier than Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, and Will Smith put together. To be like Oprah, use this trick. While Oprah has always been a well-paid celebrity, her fortune stems from owning a successful business and investing in successful brands. While few of us can start successful production companies or investing in rising TV stars early on, we can invest in the success of strong brands with solid businesses, such as Oprah's. Coca-Cola, KO 2.99%, and Procter & Gamble, PG 2.22%, have stood the test of time and provided strong returns to investors year after year. These are the brands that billionaire investor Warren Buffett has in his portfolio. While these stocks will not put our names alongside Oprah's and Forbes' list of America's wealthiest, they will put us on the path to financial security and a worry-free retirement. That's all we've got for now. If you enjoy the show, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button. Please show us some love by liking and sharing the video with your friends and family.